Hi everyone, it's Whitney. Welcome back to the channel. So today you guys, I have a little mini unboxing slash completed review. So make sure you are watching the entire video because I'm going to show you guys these projects and then I'm going to have the completed project done at the end of the video. So first thing is first is these are both from Easy Craft Art. So I will have both of these items linked down below as well as Easy Crafts Art website. They have diamond paintings, diamond painting crafts. They're budget friendly. They are one of those companies that I really, really like. So let me show you guys what I got. The first thing here is this, I, I guess I love coffee coaster. And I've seen several people unbox this on their channels and they have completed it so if you know it, it is completed I've seen plenty of people do it but um, I'm really excited about it because what I plan on doing with this one as well as the other project and any future projects that I have that can stand up I plan on using them on my bookshelf just displaying all of my diamond painting like 3d projects um, on my bookshelf so let's look at it. So it comes in this little box, which I really like because it's holding the project. It's very heavy. Um, let's look. Okay, you get your toolkit as well as your diamonds, a pin. I'm sure some wax is underneath there. And then you get your coaster. And wow, I'm pleasantly surprised. This is sturdy as heck, you guys. It really, really is. And I love this because it's a quick project. It's not going to take me long to finish this at all. I could probably finish this in like maybe 15, 20 minutes. But it's very sturdy. It is like an actual coaster. And like I said, I'm not going to use this as a coaster. I'm just going to have this as more of a display. But I really like it. And if anyone is interested in knowing what kind of coffee I drink, I do not drink um, any type of like teas with caffeine so I know coffee sometimes has caffeine in it my favorite drink ever from Starbucks is a caramel frappuccino decaffeinated you guys if anyone is interested but yeah I really really like this let's look at these colors real quick and then I'll show you guys the other project so you get some black and white of course and then I think it's just one more other color, or is it two more other colors? Let me see. So it is two more other colors. It's like this champagne color, which I think is like the whole background. And then you get this um, darker color, which is like for the border. And you can see right away in the bags, you guys, that there is static, so that kind of does suck. But the good thing is it's not too much of it. So it's not like it's a big bag of diamonds. It's a small bag. I can put up with it. So there is my little coaster project. Really excited for that one there. Let me put this toolkit aside. But yeah, that is my little coaster project. Next up, you guys, is this little project here and this is like a little mini figurine and i have found a site you guys um, i'm gonna get this stuff from the site and i'm gonna show them on my channel where you can get some bigger figurines but this is stitch from Lilo and stitch a movie i've never seen you guys um and here it is it's just you know one of those little figurines you just put you know the glue on here and stick the diamonds right on i think it's actually supposed to be a keychain yeah i think so but let's see if he'll stand oh yep he'll stand so i'm definitely going to display him on my um bookshelf case but yeah really really cute let's look at what it comes with it comes with tray pen and wax and then this actually comes with the glue because i know a lot of these like the bears that i've seen and i actually have a bear you guys that i got it hasn't came yet but um I've actually seen a lot of these uh, kits not come with the glue. So that's really convenient that it comes with the glue. With the glue. This is B7000. Um, I actually do have E6000, but I'm gonna use the glue that they gave me to see if it's really good or not. And I definitely will let you guys know. It comes with a little needle, which I like because it's tiny and that'll help me disperse the glue and place down diamonds better, hopefully. 
Um, this does have a little weird smell to it. So what I probably will do is work on this outside of my patio so I don't have to really smell the um, smell of the glue. And then you get your little hook for your key ring. And what I'm not understanding, you guys, is why the key ring thing and the other key ring thing are two different colors, like silver and gold. But you guys, like I said, I'm not going to... Um, use this as a key ring. I'm going to display this on my bookshelf. So that is that. Let's look at these diamonds really quick. It's a small, small bag. So not bad at all. I'm actually going to just toss the bag that the diamonds came in as well as this because everything is tiny. So you get the black for his eyes and his nose. And then you get the pink for the ears, some light blue, which I think goes on his stomach. Yeah, I think it does. And then you get some clear, um, the clear diamond, and that's probably going to go in the eye area. And then you get a little ton of this blue, which goes throughout the body as well as the back of the body. So, yeah. Oh, and the pink goes on the mouth, too. So... Yep, there you have it, you guys. That is both of my little projects that I have to work on. So I'm going to go ahead and go off camera now and finish these. It does, it probably will take me a couple days to finish these because I'm going to work on some things in between and probably take a break. So I will be right back, you guys, with the final review as well as the finished product. So I will see you guys in a second. All right, you guys, so I am back now with both of my finished diamond painting projects. So first here is my I Love Coffee Coaster, and I really love this a whole lot. Um, I think it came out really good. It took me maybe 20 minutes or 30 minutes to do this, so a very fast, quick and easy project. And I absolutely love it. Like I have said earlier in the video, I'm going to use this as a display on my bookshelf. I don't want to put anything on top of this. I don't even want to use it for coffee, but um, I just want to display it. So I'm really happy with this finish here. And next up is my little stitch figurine, you guys. And he came out so, so cute. Um, I did... The whole thing, the only areas I did not put any diamonds on was the bottom of the feet because I was worried that it wouldn't stand up if I did that. But it stands up just fine. Um, I will say I did almost run out of these blue drills here, but I didn't run out of them. So that's really, really good. This also was not that easy to do, you guys, because it had so many like nooks and crannies like underneath the um, neck area here, just getting the diamonds, you know, on top of the arm, under here, like around, you know, all the little areas. It was just a little difficult to do that. But I am happy with the outcome. I did, however, like make the eyes a little bit bigger, but I love it so so much this is so cool to have in my diamond painting collection and I'm really happy with it it did take me though I thought I was gonna be able to get this done very quickly you guys and it did not turn out that way this thing took me several hours to do it didn't take me like a whole day but maybe like I want to say about six hours like from start to finish like I just it just took a while but um, it's done now and I absolutely love it. I did use the B7000 glue that it came with. I still have a little bit left. I do like this glue. So hopefully with more of the little diamond painting projects that these companies have, they do include this glue because it is really good. It's really sturdy. And I do not think that any of the diamonds are going to come off. But um, yeah. I'm just going to set this down. I'm not going to ever mess with it. So hopefully none of the diamonds come off at all. But I probably will toss this glue. But um, like I said, this is some really good glue. So there you have it, you guys. That was my unboxing and completion of both of my little diamond painting projects from Easy Craft Art. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed working on these little projects. So thank you guys for watching my channel. 
Do not forget to like, comment, share my videos, you guys. And most importantly, hit that subscribe button. And I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye.